What's up, team? It's your boy, Eric Spofford, checking in on the bonus round yacht. We're out here for a casual yacht day. We got some of the homies, the chef. We just had a feast of uh, chicken and steak and had a great meal, kicking it on a Miami Sunday. I got my boy, the homie, three-time world champion boxer, Andre Berto out here yes, kicking it with us. And uh, we were just up there with the feet up. I said, Andre, let's hop on a video real quick. The people on my channel, the people that follow me on social, they need to know more about the mindset of success, the mindset of a champion. It's always intrigued me and I've used this analogy Although I'm not a fighter, I've been a fan my entire life. And I use the analogy of, of the championship mindset yeah. in business. Thanks. Because there's um, so many similarities to the yeah. fight game, yeah. to, to entrepreneurship and business. Yeah. You're gonna get punched in the face in both. Thanks. You're gonna take L's in both. Yeah. If you wanna be the best, you're gonna be up earlier and out training the competition. Yeah. They're both incredibly competitive. Yeah. Um, and so the mindset of elite entrepreneurship, people that are gonna be fucking successful, yeah. and then the mindset, and you're an entrepreneur, yourself Thanks. but the mindset of what it took to fucking win yeah. and have such an amazing career what can the it's, people it's, take away from that it's just like you said it's very similar so like the main thing is to be able to make up your mind and that's one thing with it like i said when it comes to my entrepreneurial journey and just me just being a top athlete is the fact that of course everything is going to be hard in life period but you got to be able to be that person that really makes up their mind. They don't care if they get punched in the face. Don't no matter what the circumstance is, you want to be able to go out there and go out there and execute any means possible, period. Put in the work, stay focused, and go out there and execute, period. I love that, about commitment, That's all it. in. You know, all so in. many people, uh, uh, I feel like, approach things and they would probably get killed in the fight yeah. game like they're gonna get killed in their journey for success yeah. in entrepreneurship with one foot in and one foot out yeah, it, trying to keep that safety net you know what i mean you have to be all in you have to accept this is this is under any and all conditions that you're gonna you're gonna get punched in the face yeah. you're walking into the ring championship fight yeah. fucking millions of people on pay-per-view yeah. thousands tens of thousands yeah. in the arena yeah lights fucking cameras going and, and and people really need to wrap yeah. their mind around the stress tolerance that it takes <laughs> and the acceptance that you're gonna you might win the fight yeah, but, but you know cracked. you're gonna get punched you're gonna in the get face cracked. you're gonna get cracked and like i said it takes those type of repetitions and like i said for you to walk into an arena like that with 20 you know 30 000 people in millions at home millions at home and just <laughs> be able to make that walk I've seen so many guys that are talented fighters, but just that walk cracks. I yeah. see them lose before they get in the ring. You know what yeah. I mean? So it takes a different type of mentality to be able to block out all of the bullshit, block out all of the noise, and be focused on what you got there to do and try to execute and become the world champion and be able to defeat whoever steps in that ring with you and just own the building. You gotta own that building. You gotta own you know what I mean? Just everything yeah. that's going on around you, just know that you're here to and do a job. And that's, talk about this for me though, that's showtime. That's, that's, showtime. that's in a career maybe three, four times a year. Yes. Talk about the rest of it. Talk about the work ethic, the wake up, the nah, training, stop. the diet, nah, stop. Nah, stop, the commitment man. to that. Because nah. that's the monot that's what wins championships, of course, right? Of course, consistency, consistency. You're not gonna wanna, you know, feel like waking up every day, you know, getting back at it, but just us in general, we are at it three or four times a day. And it's just the fact of training three or four times a day. Was they train three or four times a day, but you need to understand it. all that stuff is just compounding into the one night. For one night we we hop into these nine to ten week training camps for one night. We go through a lot of fucking bullshit. We go through a lot of, uh, uh, you know, like I said, a soreness of the body or even just your mind kind of withering off all for one night to go out there and show what you're all about. And like I said, it's the same thing with business, man. You just got to put in the repetition. You got to put in the reps. I put in the reps. And, and what's so impressive about that for me is watching careers like you've had yes, sir. is your ability to maintain the hunger to continue to do it. You come off a winning fight, you take a bag home. Bag. Bag. <laughs> bag. How long is it until you're, and that comes with 
girls. Distractions. That comes Left with right. distractions. Left the right. life trying to pull you in. Andre, come here. Andre, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, Andre, yeah. meet this one. Andre, can I come over? Like all the crazy shit. shit. And the <laughs> ability to fucking wake up, either yeah. it's a, the next day or the next week or the next month, and get back at yeah. it and put the, the I think the in order to, to, to put the blinders on. Yeah. If you want to win in entrepreneurship, you have to put the blinders yeah, on. Sure. Talk right. about that. You need to be able to try to, you know, try to pull something that's a little bit greater than yourself for what you want to try to accomplish. Certain things that that just, you know what I mean, just wake me up every morning. I want to leave a mean legacy here. I want to leave a real legacy. And I know it's going to take a lot of hard work and it's going to take me to put those blinders on on a regular basis for me to try to accomplish what I need to accomplish. I've seen examples of other people and other people uh, in, you know, that were extremely talented, but drifted off from a lot of the bullshit and a lot of the distractions. So if I make a commitment on what I want to accomplish, what I want to leave here for my children or just for people that come, you know what I mean, like just behind me, I know the commitment that it takes, period, period. Yeah. That's it. I need somebody who's not gonna stress me and peak my anxiety. I need somebody who fucking respects me and doesn't keep trying me. And never again, never again, that was a lesson. Never again, never again, I said that lesson. Lack of understanding and patience for communication got me feeling like there's no more point in trying to make this work. And so one of the main skills in that, in handling distractions from myself, um, is that I've learned to get very comfortable with the word no. Yeah. You yeah. have to get comfortable with yeah. not being a people pleaser. It's and it's tough. It's tough at times. It's especially, fucking hard. Especially if you walk into any type of success. I wanted to be in the clubs. Yeah. I wanted to be with the bullshit. Yeah. I wanted to be with, that shit's fun. Yeah. I want, it's not like if people get this misconception when they see successful people, they think that we're not interested in the bullshit. <laughs> Motherfucker, we're interested in the bullshit. And we just don't. Bullshit. Yeah, but, and but we just know. Because it's a commitment to the, you said it, to the legacy and the vision. Yeah. To a greater fucking purpose. Yes. The greater purpose is, is, is so much more meaningful to people that share this winning mindset. Yeah. That's what I think gets lost on a lot of people that... I can say no to the date. I can say no to the club. I can say no to the bullshit and fucking get to bed early and get back to work. Definitely. I, I coach, Definitely. I coach entrepreneurs and I, it's so funny having this conversation with you because I literally use it as an analogy because I love it. I said, do you think when fucking Conor McGregor, everyone knows who Conor McGregor is, right? So I use him as an example alone. I said, when he's on top of his game, yeah. you think he's sleeping in? Or you think he's up earlier than everyone? Andre Berto at the top of your motherfucking game in the fight games. Are you sleeping in? Are you up earlier than everyone, putting in more work than everybody or less? It turns into an obsession. Yeah. It turns into an obsession. Like, we have to be able to be in that type of mind frame. Anything, like, if you want to take it to the next, that's what really separates. That's what really separates the guys. Yeah. The obsession, like, the really just it, dive in. It, it, there's a, I'm in recovery, as you yeah. know, been sober 16 years. And in the recovery literature, um, they talk about the work that it's needed uh, that we have to do in the day to day to maintain sobriety and recovery. Yeah, yeah. And there's this one line that sticks out to me that, that I think about all the time. It says, we cannot rest on our laurels. Mm. And for years I was like, what the fuck does that mean? And so <laughs> one day I found, I, I got a yeah. dictionary years ago. I said, what the fuck is a laurel? What are we not resting on? And I looked it up and it's past experiences. We do not rest on our past experiences. And I see too many people get caught slipping in business, in life, in entrepreneurship and the fight game yeah. because you see it. Like they get caught. They have all these wins. They have all this success. Sleeping on the you start to You start to believe the hype start and to start to drink, drink the fucking Kool-Aid about That's yourself it. and you get caught slipping in that. That's it. How do you keep it fresh? How do you, you keep it like you're life. only as good as your next fight? That's it. Right? Every time, man. You could have 35 wins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're but you're only, only as good as, good as the as next your last one. performance. Period. And the next one. Yeah. 
what's when they in the next one at the same yeah, time. Fuck. It just depends. Like I said, we got one life to live. You know, how do you want to leave here? Like, how do you want to make your footprint here at the end of the day? And especially in the sport, if you're in the sports game. Yeah. You know what I mean? Last question, and I'll let you go. We'll what's get up? back to chilling on this beautiful yacht day, 85 yes, degrees sir. in sunny Miami. Yes, A lot of focus on Andre Berto, the professional fighter yeah. with an amazing record, an amazing career. Right. But you started at seven years old. Yeah. Talk about, just give the people a little bit, because at seven years old, getting off the bus, yep. running to the gym, yeah. growing up, teenager, you know, all that until you start to get some success. Talk about that being able to put in the work for yeah. a long period of time before you see the results. Because I see a lot of people that fucking think they should put in a little bit of work and get a lot of results, yeah. like fucking right now, tomorrow, and they yeah. lack... Yeah. They lack the perseverance and commitment yeah. to do this for a long time. Like I was an entrepreneur working 16 hours a day for a fucking decade before anyone even knew they who I was. That. They don't see, they don't they don't see, see the work. They don't see all Tell the about that. The gym, man. Like I said, I started at seven years old. And like I said, my dad, he said, if you want to do it, you're going to do it. Yeah. So, I mean, just me just getting off the bus at school, running three or four miles to the gym just every day, consistently. You know, that's, was them on Havendale Boulevard in Winter Haven, Florida. Everybody around town, they can tell you, they used to see me running every day in the hot ass sun. But at the same time, I knew I had a bigger purpose. I knew something great was coming for me. And I knew that I was the one to change, change the whole situation for my family. Cause I knew I had the determination to do it. I knew I had the motivation. I had this drive that was, that was kind of sickening. It was kind of sickening at the time, man. And like I said, we put in the work and I missed out on a lot of shit. Missed out on a lot of parties, a lot of girls, a lot of this, a lot of that. But I knew what the main goal was. And, I, and like I said, at that point, I shipped my whole family situation. So, so you got to put in the work, baby. You got to. Shit is not going to come to you easy at all, brother. For the entrepreneurs out there going through it, putting in the work, maybe not finding the success yet. Yet. Was it worth it? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, it was fucking worth it. And everybody went to high school. Wasn't easy. Yeah. Wasn't fucking easy. At all. But it was motherfucking worth it. Andre. You gotta fall in love with the process, baby. Yes, fall sir. in love with the process. Gotta fall in love That's with it. it. Yo, if you like this video, make sure you check out the next one and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you. Yes, sir. Peace. <laughs>
In the micro, in the day-to-day, -day, it's relentless execution. It's leaving everything on the battlefield of business, life, and success, and output. You should come home and, and, and put your head on the pillow, fucking empty guns. You got nothing left every day. But it's the patience of macro that you know that the day is not gonna win it. Those days where you leave everything on the battlefield is not gonna win it. What's gonna win it is doing it for years on end, years. And when you put that recipe together, although it doesn't feel like it, I promise you, you can't fucking lose. When you can't be beaten, you can't be stopped, you can't be denied, you can't be put down, you can't be paused, and you're just like the fucking Terminator putting in the work ethic. 12, 14, 16 hour days, 365, year over year, year over year, in love with the process, not the result, it's gonna happen for you, it's gonna take a lot of time, and the key is, is to have the winning recipe, the winning formula, the winning output, work ethic, mindset but also never fucking give up because i see people that have these things and they get frustrated and before it happens for them they give up and they constantly play this game of shoots and ladders going back to the beginning going back to they give up they blah 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 they start over and they fucking spend their entire life in this in this broken process never finding what it is because they gave up too early don't you ever fucking give up let's get it